How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all safe and well at home. Um, my name is Carl. I'm one of the zoologists here at the Dallas Zoo Reptile Department. And today we're going to have a little chat about the biggest carnivores that we have at the Dallas Zoo. Of course, I'm talking about the Nile crocodiles. Here we have two Nile crocodiles. We've got Delilah and Monster. Um, they're pushing 60 years old now, so they're getting on a bit, but well, aren't we all? Monster is about 15 feet long, weighs over a thousand pounds. Um, so his name is Justified. He's a giant animal. And Delilah, she's about 11 feet long, weighs about 800 pounds. So they're very big animals. Nile crocodiles can actually get up to in excess of 18 feet in, in certain circumstances. Nile crocodiles are the second largest species in the world. There are 26 uh, species of crocodilians. Crocodilians uh, encompass alligators, caiman, gharials, and of course crocodiles. There are currently seven species of crocodilians that are on the critically endangered list. And we actually have one of them at the Dallas Zoo Reptile Department, the Chinese alligator. We also have uh, false gharials, which are a species of crocodile from Southeast Asia. And those guys are vulnerable, which they're not doing too well in the wild either. Nile crocodiles are least risk uh, there are plenty in abundance. You find them throughout the sub-Saharan Africa, uh, and you'll even find them over there in Madagascar as well. They're perfectly adapted for their environment. They got their eyes, their ears, and their nostrils on the top of their head, which allows them to stay sub submerged when animals come to the side of the river to drink. Then they use their big tail to propel themselves out of the water, and they bite down with one of the strongest bites in the animal kingdom. It's a few thousand pounds per square inch which in layman's terms means if it's on the end of your leg, it's not letting go. Here at the Dallas Zoo, we feed them a variety of things. We feed them uh, croc chow, which is a biscuit made of different kinds of meats and stuff like that. It's kind of like dog biscuits for crocodiles, but they love that. We use that to train sometimes as well. They love rabbits, that would be their favorite. Uh, we also feed them quail, rats, and Nile crocodiles are opportunistic predators. So they eat anything that comes into their exhibit, apart from us. Uh, they'll eat squirrels that fall out of trees and they've even been known to take the odd skunk here and there that's wandered in. Nile crocodiles in the wild would eat some of the largest prey items uh, of all the crocodilians. They're known to eat zebras, uh, wildebeest. Um, there's very few that they, they won't uh, pursue. I'm thinking it's a really bad idea to chase a big hippo. But they're very opportunistic. They're very agile in the water. They use their their big tail to propel themselves around the water and yet their head to steer and usually their arms and legs um, will uh, help out too. The large crocodilians can swim up to speeds of 10 kilometers plus and that probably doesn't sound like a whole lot but it's faster than Michael Phelps so they're gonna catch you. One of the main questions I get asked here at the zoo is what's the difference between alligators and crocodiles? Um, there's actually a lot of morphological differences but the easiest one is if you look at the head, usually an alligator has a broader, uh, wider head. Um, but if you look at their dentition when their mouth is actually closed, uh, for alligators, you'll actually only see the top teeth and crocodiles, if their mouth is closed, you'll, you'll see the bottom teeth as well. That's one of the easiest ways. Crocodiles are found throughout the tropics and alligators are only found in two places in the world, which is the Southeastern United States and China. We look forward to seeing you again at the Dallas Zoo Come over to the Reptile Building and check out Crocodile Cove and all the other animals we have here. Um, and of course, give Monster and Delilah a visit as well. They'd appreciate it. <laughs>